Of all the triumphal arches still standing in Rome, the Arch of Titus is the most infamous. It commemorates the siege and sack of Jerusalem in 70 AD by the then Roman general Titus, who later on became emperor. And in fact, if we read the inscription at the top of the Arch of Titus, we see Senatus Populusque Romanus, abbreviated in the famous acronym SPQR, alluding to a period of Roman history when it was still a republic. But then the inscription continues, Divo Tito, Divi Vespasiani F, that is the divine Titus, son of the divine Vespasian, and ends with Vespasiano Augusto, because in fact, Emperor Vespasian was the first of the Flavian family to become emperor. And so the idea of a triumphal arch celebrating an important military victory, and in fact used first in a wooden state and then later transformed into a permanent stone structure for a triumph. And in fact, on the inside of the Arch of Titus, we can see an image of the emperor on his victorious chariot pulled by four horses, the famous quadriga. And to the other side, the ominous image of the menorah being carried by slaves out of the temple in Jerusalem. So if you're in Rome, come down to the Roman Forum, walk past the Arch of Titus, and remember to like this video and to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Rockies Italy, so that you don't miss out on any of the great content that we're filming here directly in Italy and publishing weekly.